first thing everybody asks me, is this a true story? And I say to them, well, you would make up your mind. When you read a book, you decide how true it is. You decide how much truth you can accept and what you cannot accept. Um, it is really up to the reader to decide. The book does contain some true stories. But I could not do a full factual work. Main reason being, several of the players are dead. And they have no way of telling me or informing my research into writing the book. In addition, there's a saying, only the Lord knows what goes on beyond closed doors. And during that period, the doors were closed in several of these discussions that were taking place. You have one hand, the, the, the faction who have decided that they would destroy the revolution. And on the other hand, you have Morris Bishop and Jacqueline Kerr being locked away. So Levi tries to negotiate between these parties and try to f bring some kind of closure, some kind of peaceful resolution in which he feels miserably. Those six days represent a crucial countdown time. And you'll see that the book is written quickly and it's very short, the short book, it's not a long book, which represents the speed of the events which took place during that time. The six days between the house arrest of Morris Bishop and Jacqueline Kreff and their final execution on the 4th, on the 19th of October. 1983. Love, history, murder, destitution, desperation. Every single adjective that you can think about, six days will tingle your emotions. Please enjoy. <laughs>